This video is sponsored by the fine folks over at Dibley. Create more about them later in the video. It's November the 1st, 2023, and I'm dishing the latest up-to-date news in the world of self-publishing. And boy, it is just a doozy. I am I'm floored on this one, and this is something I speculated for a long time. So for it to actually come to fruition, oof, I'm excited. So Amazon KDP released a statement in the community tab today entitled invite only KDP beta for audiobooks. In it, they said, we're excited to announce the launch of an invitation only US beta that enables authors, KDP authors, to quickly and easily produce an audiobook version of their ebook using virtual voice narration, a synthetic speech technology. Authors will now be able to, first of all, number one, create an audiobook from an ebook in just a few steps. To publish an audiobook, the authors will first choose one of their eligible ebooks on KDP. From there, authors can sample voices, preview, and customize the audiobook. Authors can set a list price between $3.99 and $14.99 and will receive a 40% royalty. More about that in the bit here, folks. After publication, audiobooks will be live within 72 hours and distributed where Audible titles are sold. Super exciting. KDP authors can also choose to work with professional narrators and voice talent through ACX. Interesting. And number two, reach new audiences. Customers can find and listen to audiobooks with virtual voice wherever audible audio audiobooks are available today. Easy for me to say. Audiobooks created through KDP from eBooks and KDP Select will be included in the Audible Plus catalog and eligible for a share of the KDP Select Global Fund. Audiobooks created by virtual voice will be clearly labeled and as with any audiobook, customers can listen to samples. We plan to grow the beta over time and we'll share updates in the coming months as we have additional information. If you're interested in participating in the future, sign up for our email subscription list by following these instructions. There is going to be a list of instructions on the link. There's a link inside the description down below. It's in the KD KDP community tab. And get all that that listed there. I highly recommend everybody e anyways get themselves subscribed to something like that so that way you are in the know about what's going on or you can always just say subscribe to this channel. So what do we know so far? I want to give you guys the facts, all right? And then we're going to go into what we don't know and then I'm going to discuss some of the implications, some of the theories that I have with this. So the very first one is, number one, it's invite only. So it looks like we can't just simply go in there find an ebook and just publish it on out there. It looks like it's invite only. I would recommend maybe that you do the whole email subscription type thing because maybe that will help out. I don't know. I don't have any facts on this one. Number two, it's available only in the US. Sorry, if you're not inside the US, this is probably working against you. Uh, my apologies. I imagine it'll roll out in due time to other regions. Now, number three, it appears to be only available for eBooks. So if you happen to be doing a print book, it doesn't seem to be working off of that at all. Uh, will that happen in the future? Remains to be seen. We will find out in due time. Now, number four, it only provides virtual voice narration or as they call it, synthetic speech technology. I love the term. <laughs> it's Whoever came up with that behind the scenes, fantastic. I just call it AI narration. Now, number five, you set your price, unlike ACX, between $3.99 and $14.99 with a 40% royalty. Now, this is huge since it doesn't appear to require exclusivity yet. Unlike ACX, where you have to be exclusive in order to get the 40% royalty, Otherwise, non-exclusive is 25% through ACX, and not to mention, ACX actually does your pricing. You're not allowed to price your books through ACX. Through KDP, it appears that you can, but it's in a small window of $3.99 and $14.99. Pretty incredible, right? Uh, by the way, if you're watching this right now or on the replay, you got questions, concerns, comments, post them inside this video. Put a Q right next to that so I know that you need an answer. Number six, KDP specifically states KDP authors can also choose to work with professional narrators and voice talent through ACX. So this part has me kind of confused because it seems that they're saying they're going... Well, you can get the AI narration or you can work with any of the professional narrators or voice talent through ACX. Okay, which one is it? Like, are you saying that we could use that instead of the AI narration or that we can utilize the ACX platform by way of our KDP dashboard? This 
is a big tell and raises so many questions. For instance, if I can work with a human narrator, distribute my audiobook through KDP, get a 40% royalty and have some control over pricing, why would I want to publish audiobooks directly through ACX now? I mean, I've got no reason at this point. Not to mention ACX does not accept AI narrated audiobooks. It's against their policy. Makes me wonder if they'll walk that policy back now that their sister company, KDP, has embraced this technology. Now, number seven, they're distributing your audiobook to Audible, and one can assume Amazon as well, since both usually work in tandem. I do not have factual evidence of that. So stay tuned to this channel or my podcast channel for further clarifications and updates. Again, all links down below, or you can visit dalelinks.com slash YouTube podcast or YouTube, either one of those, and it will deliver you to either one of those channels. The podcast typically gives you the up-to-date uh, information. Now, what do we not know yet? Now, the very first thing we're going to not know is we don't know how long this program will be in beta. I mean, I think they're going to probably try to see if they can break some things, figure out some stuff, cover some, you know, common questions and concerns. And this is one of the reasons why I recommend if you've got comments, concerns, or anything else like that, drop it inside the chat, put a cue next to it. KDP pays attention to my videos. That won't be the last time I say this during this broadcast. Now, number two, we, do, we don't know when they'll roll this option out to account holders outside the US. I mean, I would love to see that happen for everybody, but it kind of makes me a little leery because Kindle Vela has been stuck in the US for the past, well, gosh, we're going on a year and a half now, and it doesn't look like they're looking to expand. Now, audiobooks might be a little bit different since Kindle Vela is a much different concept than audiobooks, but I hope that it goes a lot quicker than what it has done for Kindle Vela. Now, number three, we don't know how this will affect the KDP Select Global Fund because if they plan on dipping into that pool, this will literally cut authors' current paydays down significantly. Yeah, you remember the little like statement here at the like the part right here where it says, uh, well, let's see here. Audiobooks created through KDP from eBooks and KDP Select will be included in the Audible Plus catalog and eligible for a share of the KDP Select Global Fund. Interesting because previously this was only for eBooks and now we're starting to look at, well, if this is in KDP Select as an eBook and audiobook, it's going to dip into that pool, which means that oh my gosh, our paydays are probably going to take a huge hit, especially when this starts to roll out to all of the account holders and not just in the U.S. Very concerning to say the least. Now, number four, we don't really know how good the AI narration is. Some AI narration sounds great these days, but some not so much. Is this going to be passable? And will authors begin solely leaning on AI narration, essentially eradicating the need for human narration? I'm not saying that's a good thing. I wholeheartedly believe and support the human narration business because to me, I feel like they deliver a much more passionate performance, especially if you're in the world of fiction. Putting some type of AI narration, sure, some of it can kind of sound good, but otherwise it does kind of sound stilted from time to time. Again, my opinion here on this one here. Number five, we don't really know if this requires an exclusivity agreement. Can we distribute the work elsewhere? Or if we choose to create a new version, can we distribute it through other platforms? We're not sure yet. So there is so many things, so many question marks, and I'm sure that I'll hopefully get some more answers from the team at KDP as it starts to roll out. Now, why isn't this surprising? Well, Apple Books for Authors and Google Play Books both have actually rolled out the option to generate AI narration for books distributed directly through their platform. Now, some folks feel the narration is decent while others feel they're stilted and unlistenable. Now, the reason it's such big news that these KDP competitors have this option is previously, the, the only way to distribute audiobooks to Apple or Google was through third-party companies like Findaway Voices or Publish Drive. Now, account holders who can't afford the exorbitant cost of producing an audiobook have a suitable option. Should they make enough sales, they they could always use it to hire a professional human narrator for a more polished audiobook presentation that isn't just AI. Now keep in mind, they did say if you use AI, they're going to disclose it to the audience. So this might turn off some potential listeners or customers who want to buy this. Some people don't care about that. So if you want to kind of hit that whole audience, I would recommend you lean on AI 
you leverage that to where you can hire a human narrator that you can have an actual better audiobook. So it's not surprising that KDP got on board and are looking to pave the way in this new option for self-publishing audiobooks. So what are the implications now? The, the implications uh, from this point forward, I'm sharing my theories and speculations. So do not count them as facts, gospel, or insider info, because nobody has given me this information from anywhere but myself. It's just figuring these things out over the last few hours after finding out the details. First, we should be facing some serious drops in the KDP Select payouts once this program gets fully launched, not to mention a drop in payouts through the Audible Plus program since another viable avenue has opened up. Now, next, in late 2016, stay with me on this one. It's, this is a little bit of like self-publishing history here, folks. KDP rolled out their print feature. Yeah, KDP print wasn't always available. Many folks didn't believe KDP print would ever replace the reliable and much loved sister platform in print on demand Create Space. Anybody remember Create Space? Put put a uh, put a put a W in chat if you really like Create Space. Now fast forward two years later, and Create Space merged with KDP Print in December of 2018. It was not a smooth transition, and it left a lot of account holders scrambling to pick up the broken pieces from a bad system migration. It was scary. It got out of control. There were people that were pulling in five, six figure paychecks that dropped down to the hundreds. You know, it was nuts. Now, can we expect to see ACX go bye-bye in the near future? It took over two years for KDP to relieve CreateSpace of their duties. But I would imagine with all the moving parts of audio files and accounts, a move from ACX to KDP might be a bit more problematic. Do not rule this out based on the hypothesis that Amazon wouldn't do that because they'll lose a lot of money because that very theory was disproven when CreateSpace Huh, the account holders said the same thing about that. They said, oh, they won't do that. They'll just shoot themselves in the foot. They did it. It, it just makes sense, though. I'll be honest with you. You put all one everything into one dashboard, it's going to be a lot easier. You put the whole team into one team rather than working separately. Maybe we will be looking at something that's better than ACX eventually, which I am not the biggest fan of audiobook creation exchange despite its reach. Now, since KDP has required Full disclosure of generative AI in your work, whether through text, art, or translation, we can see KDP is clearly pro-AI with this latest move. So if you've been nervous about fully disclosing the use of AI in your work, you can probably relax now. I discussed the AI, AI policy updates a few weeks ago, and we'll leave a link in the video description for more details about that. You can go and watch that because it was fairly in-depth. So I want to hear what your thoughts are about this latest version, this latest option that's available to account holders on invite only basis. Is this something that you would utilize? What are some of the questions and concerns that you have? Now, speaking of AI, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors, Dibley Create. They are the ultimate tool for your projects. Collaborate in real time, capture your ideas effortlessly, and supercharge your creativity. With AI Powerhouse, Kip, you're unstoppable. Generate summaries, outlines, and even have pr productive chats. Customize textiles, formatting, and layouts to make your project truly yours. Export with ease, work offline, and stay productive on the go. Unleash your potential with Dibley Create today. Day, visit my affiliate link at dailinks.com slash dibblycreate and redefine your creative process today and get a seven day trial of the pro plan or the free plan when you sign up today. That's Dibley Create, where projects come to life. Again, dailinks.com slash dibblycreate. Big shout out to them. Now, just a quick reminder that you'll find all the source article links in the description down below. Feel free to drop me any questions, concerns, and comments. Now, keep in mind, KDP does pay attention to my videos and comments, so please keep it professional and above the belt if you feel like you have to take a swing or a shot at them. I know that there's some people that aren't about AI life. I get it. I totally understand that you won't, you don't like it. It's not your thing. That's fine. But at this point, cat's already been let out the bag. We can't just take the toothpaste and put it right back into the tooth into the tube. It just doesn't work that way. It's what we're dealing with right now. So how we cope with it, how we conduct ourselves online and elsewhere makes all the bit of a difference. Now remember, there are human beings on the KDP team. So be cool. That's my way of saying just be cool to them. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's going on over here in the chat. 
I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of these windows here. We are simulcasting to both the main channel as well as the podcast channel. So uh, I wanna see, again, if you've got a, a yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thomas A. Bradley, W, started with CreateSpace. Love me some CreateSpace. By the way, love me some Thomas A. Bradley. Yeah, a lot of people saying CreateSpace, exactly. Here we go. I wonder if that means eBooks will have to be, elig uh, be in KU to be eligible for this option, hard pass if so. Good question, good question there, Nate. Um, it doesn't seem like it's required in their verbiage, um, but they don't explicitly state like you have to be in KDP select. Um, I, I love this. A uh, good friend of mine, Mark Leslie Lefebvre, it drives him crazy when people say B and KU when it's KDP select is what you're in because it's not the only place that you end up. But I, I, I we're splitting hairs here, Nate. By the way, big shout out to Nate over there at uh, laterpress.com, folks. If you're ever considering distributing your eBooks and get a larger royalty anywhere else, 100% of your royalty, um, go over to laterpress.com. Want to be a slight upgrade from text uh, to speech? Carol, I think so. I, I really think that th even if they had it as wonky as text to speech would sound, I guess it's better than nothing because there are some authors that really can't afford to uh, hire a narrator. Their per finished hour sometimes is just unreachable, uh, especially if you are like a high fantasy epic, you know, novelist, you know, you're, you're having like a 200,000 word manuscript. That is you know, like, you're going to have to mortgage two homes for that. I would rather have a pro narrator than AI. Carol, I agree with you. Uh, I think there would probably be exceptions to the rule. And those exceptions would probably be like, if I, uh, Michael Laron's a great example here. He's uh, from Author Level Up. You haven't had the opportunity, go check out his YouTube channel. He's wonderful. But he puts out like annual uh, publications and they're not really evergreen per se. So him hiring a narrator or even spending that time to narrate his own audiobooks really isn't very economical. So using AI was probably one of the best options. I think this is audiobooks within KDP. Claire Clark, yes it is. Yep, that's exactly what we are talking about today. I'm at work and still watching. <laughs> Please don't get fired. Please don't get fired. Um, I love it, can't wait. All right, cool, cool. W for sure, but it gave me the push to get my own ISBNs. Yeah, everybody remembers CreateSpace. Uh, wait, what if you were in CreateSpace but weren't the biggest fan? Ah, Chris, if you weren't the biggest fan of CreateSpace, just put an L in the chat. <laughs> put an L. Hello, is this thing working? Knock, knock. Yeah, it's on, buddy. It's on. Good to see you there, Butcher. Sounds like a great step forward. I'd love to have my books available on audiobook. We'll be keeping my ear to the ground and monitoring the news with Dale for all the updates. Thanks for sharing. You got it. You got it. I'm, I'm really happy to be able to give you guys and gals information that's going to help you out in some capacity. And if you feel this is going to help out anybody else, please do share this across social media, tag some friends and get them in the know on this one right here. Um, I try to break this news as quickly as humanly possible, but in the same instance, um, I want to make sure that when I come to you guys, I'm fully prepared and I'm not just talking out my rear end because that can happen if I'm not really jumping into things. Hey, there we go. There's Michael Laron's channel folks. And, uh, that actually is over in the podcast chat there. So, all righty. So, uh, Ali Hansen says, I just joined. Can you say in one sentence what we are discussing? There are links inside the description down below. You can always go ahead and watch the replay. The TLDR is this, is KDP is now in, rolling out a new program for publishing audiobooks using AI narration. So um, there's a TLDR for you. Um, I did it with Google. They were okay. Oh, cool. I'm so glad that you said something on that one there. So Margaret Gaffney brought up uh, this right here. I did it with Google. They were okay, but not great. They didn't sell worth spit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, I was rather underwhelmed with some of their voice options that they had available through Google, but I noticed with Apple, it was a little bit more robust and it felt a little less robotic and stilted. So, uh, Margaret, did you try out Apple at all? And if there was anybody else that used Google Play Books or Apple Books for authors for the AI narration, I'd like to hear from you. TLDR, too long, didn't read. <laughs> yeah, Ryder Cleve Birdman, I get to, I get to teach you something uh, that, that you didn't know. TLDR, uh, yes, too long, didn't read. 
Yep. So if you ever hear somebody say, I'm going to give you the TLDR, there you go. The other concern I'd have is the 40% royalty rate. Creating AI audio is not expensive. Very small cost on their end to reap 60% forever. I'd rather pay that upfront for better royalty. I love that. That was not something I thought about. Nate, I need to give you, like, we just need to have phone numbers. That's it. Maybe we already do. Uh, I'm going to have to call you up because that's a great point. There's really not much they have to do. So why are they taking such a large cut? Um, I know that it's it, it's it's kind of nice, but maybe this is something KDP. You guys are listening. I know that you are. So um, explain yourselves. Really, if you if you're you're distributing something like this, you're just you have the software available. It can't cost that much to distribute an audiobook that's completely created by AI. So. 40%? Uh, yeah. I'm I'm happy. Please don't get me wrong, uh, Nate. Uh, I'm happy with the fact that they're providing 40% as well as control over pricing, a uh, limited amount. Um, but I, I whew, it, it beats ACX right now. But I think just about anything is going to be ACX because ACX is just, oh, I, I, oh, I, I, ACX, get your, get your act together. Do you think Audible will change the policy and let authors set their own prices? I hope so. I, I I would like to see, first of all, A, they need to catch up at the times because AI narration isn't going anywhere. There are a lot of cash-strapped authors that cannot afford a PFH for a good audiobook narrator. N yeah, sure. Someone's going to probably come along in the chat and be like, I found this great audiobook narrator that only cost me $25 per finished hour. Good for you. That is absurdly low because I will tell you that I've narrated a book myself and the cost to put that all together for me to break even was $125 per finished hour, $125. If you came to me and offered me $25 per finished hour, I would first of all feel insulted and next I would laugh in your face and tell you to get lost. So um, it's having AI as an option really helps out those cash strapped authors. So that way they can launch their book, give an option to listeners that wouldn't otherwise consume their content on ebook or print books. Uh, and this gives it to where they can raise the money and the funds to hire a professional narrator. I don't want to see the professional voiceover and uh, narrator industry dry up. I really truly believe they bring something that machine-based learning can't be able to deliver. It's getting kind of scary close though, I'll tell you. It really is. So, But yeah, I would really love to see them change their policy. Will they do it? I don't know. I've been crying about them for the past few years and trying to say something, but no one's paying attention. How is Find Away Voices? Find Away Voices is okay. Um, I, I've got some of my reservations when it comes to distribution through Spotify, especially now that they have the Spotify premium option available and you can't separate a la carte from the subscription based service. But I did put a request in with find away voices proceed with caution when it comes to find away voices, because since Spotify has picked them up, there's been some stuff that I've just found kind of questionable. So there's that. I disagree with the audio not being expensive. Data transfer is extremely expensive and audio is very large. 40% is fine by me. Chris, thanks for, very much for, for uh, um, chiming in there. Um, you know, I'll be straight up. I don't know what the infrastructure is behind the scenes. So for me to blatantly say, hey, we should get 60 or 70% based on this. Yeah, I guess that is unfair. So uh, point well taken, Chris. Thank you so much for chiming in. I appreciate that. I mean, can just get Alexa to read it for me, right? Amazon? True, true. Do you have any audiobooks, Dale? Yes, actually, I have quite a few audiobooks, and uh, you can take a look at them. I mean, it's pretty much available on all major platforms and also in libraries. So just literally all you have to do is just Google up any number of my audiobooks and such. Uh, or, or even go over to my website, dalelroberts.com. That's dalelroberts.com. Or you can go to selfpublishingwithdale.com, either one of those sites, and you'll be able to find my books uh, available there. Best good cheap narrators are around 80 per finished hour. And that's insanely low. By the way, how's it going there, Joseph? Uh, great to see you, buddy. It's been a long time. We need to meet up soon before this uh, weather gets too cold here in Ohio. Uh, I am trying to get to everybody. So if you got a question, please put a cue inside the chat so I see you. 
Okay, Elaine Canyon says, have they said if they'll hold the same standards as ACX for the finished files if we work with the narrator? Unfortunately not, Elaine. Uh, they were very, very ambiguous. They didn't cover too much. It was like, hey, you can use AI or you can go get a narrator on ACX. But it wasn't like they didn't tie the two together. It was kind of confusing how they worded that. Uh, but that is a fantastic, um, fantastic question, honestly. Google is cool because you can go in and add pauses ooh, to make it more natural sounding. Interesting. Thank you so much for bringing that up there, Cleve. So anybody that's utilizing Google Play Books for the AI voice narration there, um, this is something that uh, writer Cleve Bourbon, by the way, folks, go over and subscribe to Cleve Bourbon's channel. Uh, Cleve's a good dude. Uh, he puts out some pretty good videos from time to time. Uh, my audiobook narrator did it for free. I will give her 50% of my money if I sell enough. I haven't paid, been paid yet. Carol, hang in there. By the way, kudos to you that you were able to work a 50% uh, split with an audiobook narrator. Uh, I'm not sure if you did the 50-50 royalty split. If you had to, I understand it happens. But if you were able to get it off platform, ooh, well done. Very savvy. Very savvy. A while back when experimenting with Amazon Polly, my 120,000 word draft was going to be about $9 to $10 to produce. Cool. Good stuff. The work is going to be run by robots. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Claire, it's good to see you. Author J.D. Nichols says, agree with Nate 100%. If authors can get 70% on an ebook, there's no reason we shouldn't get the same for an AI-generated audiobook. So true. Uh, just, just on the other side of things, I think one of the uh, viewers just brought this up is, you know, without knowing how much it, it costs to distribute audio files, because it's much larger files than what you're dealing with eBooks. Um, obviously there's going to be a lot more infrastructure having to be built out and support being built out for that particular area. So, um, I'm pretty happy with 40%. Um, to be honest with you, and especially since we have control over pricing because you can't get that through audiobook creation exchange. So question, you said AI narration through Kindle. Does that mean you don't have to go through a ACX? Are there new rules? That means you don't have to go through ACX. Uh, but John, hang in there. Don't get too excited. Don't get carried away because it is available in invite only and it is in beta for US account holders. So if you cross those check those things off on your on that checklist and it's potentially okay for you to go ahead and consider but um it's it's kind of hanging out there we don't know just yet what i would recommend is visit that link inside the description down below that goes to the kdp community post and then there is an email notification list get yourself put on that so you get updated on those type of things i just highly recommend it Yes, the 50-50 royalty share was in the contract. Ah, yeah. Carol, if you're able to get ever able to do a 50% split with a narrator off platform, that will definitely be good. But otherwise, you're pretty much stuck on that one for the next seven years. And at that point, the rights don't default back to you. Unfortunately, it will just renew every year as a 50-50 royalty split until you otherwise have bought out that contract or agreement with your narrator. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the 50-50 royalty split on ACX. I think it, 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 it leaves room for abuse. And when I say abuse is some narrators, when they know they stand something to lose by being bought out, they're going to jack up their per finished hour rate more than usual. I ran into that. Like someone was originally $250 per finished hour. And then magically they were like, yeah, it's going to be a thousand. Oh, what? How? No, that's not cool. That's really not cool. Uh, over on a platform like Findaway Voices, they have a royalty split pro program where you can actually, you pay 50% up front and then you have an 80-20% split. So 80% to you, 20% to the narrator. And that's a 10-year agreement, but you can buy out that agreement anytime in that 10 years if you have 100% of the PFH, the per finished hour rate. So this means you end up paying about 150% of the PFH if you were to avoid, say, the royalty split, it would just be 100%, obviously. So um, I like Find Away Voices model. I think ACX really needs to kind of consider that. Now, a lot of audiobook narrators don't like that idea. They don't like the fact that they can't jack up their rates and uh, get, you know, pretty much their their chunk of change. And to me, I just, I don't think that's right. You know, either you get paid, you know, on a regular basis through this royalty split and then get paid your worth 
Or there's this other option of you get this 50-50 royalty split and then you can just gouge authors for what you feel your value is after you've seen the value in the publication. Well, I signed up. Hopefully they offer me the chance to try it out. But if I do, I'd want to record my audio myself. Do you think that'll be an option? Again, Chris, this was something that I had noticed inside the wording that they said that you could pick up narrators by way of ACX. So um, I imagine we'll find out in due time. I'm with you though, because if I can, I can do my own audiobooks. Um, I wouldn't see the it necessary to do AI narration. So if I could get into this beta program, I'd be willing to go ahead and try out doing it myself. So hopefully they have this option available for folks like you and I here, Chris, that we can be able to take advantage of that. I'm not excited about AI anything. John, that's totally fine, man. There's some people that do not like artificial intelligence. Uh, for me, I, I lean pro AI, but not in the way that you think. I still believe that authors and online entrepreneurs really need to still embrace who they are as a human being in their creative in their creativity and their in their voice something that really can't be duplicated by ai in any capacity yeah sure it can try to build deviations off of your voice but it's never going to be 100% authentic so to me i think ai can be leveraged as a tool to help make you more efficient in your workflow. I personally use, and again, this is a shameless plug to my sponsors, Dibley Create. Dibley Create's fantastic. Uh, they've helped me out with outlines. They've helped me out with rephrasing some words. They've helped me out with summarizing my work. They've helped me out with descriptions. They've even helped me out with doing auto, my own autobiography, autobiography, my own bio for uh, as an author, so. What I'd like to see is self-pub pre-order audiobooks. It takes way too long for them to approve audiobooks. Yeah, yeah, uh, I imagine that one's going to be further down the road because we're now just seeing scheduling for print books on KDP. So I don't reckon we're going to see that for audiobooks at least anytime soon. Now, I could be wrong, though. Very interesting stuff as always. Got to jump off. Hey, thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate you tuning in. Well, I happen to be artificially intelligent. <laughs> nice. Well done, Chris. Well done. Uh, Margaret says, Nate, great point. You can get this done fast. They do nothing. We do all the work. So true. So, so true. But uh, boy, we have exhausted just about every last little bit when it comes to this latest news item, folks. I want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in here. If you did enjoy today's broadcast, could you just do me a favor and hit the thumbs up? If you disliked it, hit the thumbs down so I don't get to see you anymore. Honestly, if you don't like my content, stop watching it. Hit the thumbs down, YouTube will stop recommending it to you. And that's really what it comes down to. But I'm sure if you've made it this far, you're probably gonna hit that like button. And of course, hit share. Drop something inside the comments. Please feel free to express how you feel, but please do it in a professional manner. No curse words. Let's keep it family friendly if you could. Till later, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and I want to thank each and every single one of you and uh, hope for the best. Stay tuned for more updates when it comes to this latest audiobook publication option through KDP.